Hello sponsored beauties, how are you guys doing today? I wanted to make this video really quickly just to go over a couple things. Um, I've been having a lot of conversations with you guys like one on one and um, a lot of the conversations are very similar honestly so I felt it just kind of in my heart to make this video and um, just kind of help you guys realize that our team really is a lot alike. Um, obviously we have a lot of you know different people doing different jobs, different you know goals and stuff like that but um, you guys all did sign up with me for a reason you know and so I guess just remember that. that um, you guys do have something inside your soul that really does connect all of you guys together um, and that's an amazing feeling to have. So um, I'm just gonna go straight into it. Um, you know, basically what I want to just, you know, make aware to you is that you are not forced into anything in this opportunity. And that's why if you guys saw, um, I think it was just two days ago, I uploaded a file into the file section of this group. Um, it says, you know, one ambassador membership, three pass. Um, you know, there has been a time in my life with our coaching business that I didn't really love, you know, calling people discount coaches, um, hobby coaches, and then career coaches. There's like, you know, three different kind of coaches. Um, it's kind of a, a way that you can label yourself. I don't really love labels, honestly, which is why um, there was a time where I was like, yeah, I'm never going to, you know, label someone a discount coach because that just kind of puts a label on them and maybe you think that they're never going to actually be successful in the business, you know, when um, if my coach would have done that to me, you know, I was technically a discount coach, you know, um, but you just have to, you have to treat everybody the same, um, but individually with, for your own self, um, it's sometimes good maybe for your own mental clarity to um, understand what your goal is, at least at this time in your life, and to be okay with that, you know, that's totally fine, and just to not compare yourself to other people that have different goals, okay, because I know that, you know, and I still do, um, and that's something that I have sat down with a few of you guys and helped you realize that, you know, I do not care one percent um, that it's I've been in this business for three years and you know I'm at whatever rank I am and making however much money I am. Um, no, I'm not super you know super successful. But listen, like when I started this, that was not my goal. Okay, my goal was to cure myself from an eating disorder. Um, I I started building a team faster than I thought I would just by signing people because they wanted to be part of this community. Um, you know, I've always had this kind of community feel, always I signed coaches that just wanted to discount with me. Um, I never pushed any of them to coach, which is why I guess I'm not super successful. Um, but in my eyes, I am very successful. I've had a few of you guys on my team since the beginning with me, and you've never even signed one coach of your own, you know, and that makes me so happy just knowing that you didn't give up on on yourself, on me, and this team, when you love this team so much that you're in it for yourself. And that's, that's, that just makes me want to cry. You know, that is what it's about. Okay. So like, don't, um, don't think that if you're not signing coaches or if you are not, you know, building a business or whatever you think that you, you are supposed to be doing as a coach, um, don't feel like you are doing anything wrong because if you're doing what you want to do, then that's the right thing. Okay. And know that it's okay to change. Like, trust me, like you're going to develop. Like I promise that's my goal for you is to grow and develop. Um, but don't ever feel like you have to turn into somebody that you don't want to be, you know, like, and I, and I, that's another conversation I've had with a few of you guys. Like I will be successful with Beachbody, but I will never be one of those coaches up there talking on stage. I guess that's a bad thing to say. Never. I don't really know, but like, I never see myself wanting to be, um, that kind of coach. Okay. And, and it's okay if that's not your personality, you don't have to um, scare yourself away from success because you're comparing yourself to other people that um, have a different personality types and different, and, you know, different goals and they do things different ways than you. You have to find the way that you do it and realize that there's so many other people in the world that are going to relate to that way. And then you're going to be able to build your own empire that relates to you, you know, and, um, and also just remember that obviously it's okay to keep growing and developing and stuff like that. Um, you know, if you start start on the team just for your own self and you you know really do change your life in a couple of years and you see the opportunity behind this and then you want to like, you know, go full full for full force, sorry, then you know, that's awesome. That's perfect. Um, I've just I've had a, a number of you guys um, you know, either kind of run away from the groups or, you know, I've had a couple coaches honestly deactivate their Facebook accounts. Um, I've had coaches cancel completely because they're either you know they're overwhelmed by the notifications or they're they're pissed off because they got overdrafted on their account and like dumb little shit that should not make you cancel this opportunity you know and um it's stuff that it just it makes me dumbfounded honestly but um it's just you just have to remember like you're in you're putting yourself in a community that's gonna 
give you life for the rest of your life. It's kind of like um, a, a retirement fund in a way. Like it's okay if you're taking it slow, okay, um, but don't ever give up on yourself because realize that you know you're putting yourself into a community that's starting to build success for your future and it's amazing and it's nothing wrong with that and there's also nothing wrong with taking it slow um so just know that you know you're on your own journey okay so don't um yeah just don't compare yourself to anybody and that's basically i don't want to ramble off so much but i just know how i used to feel and i still sometimes do feel you know when coaches are like they say all their goals and you know maybe and you can make yourself feel less of a person or less of a coach because um it doesn't compare to them but who cares if your goal is not the same as theirs then you know woohoo give them a high five more power to them and you just focus on your own beautiful self that's worrying about her own journey and wanting you know most of you guys are trying to recover from struggles and other stuff that i don't want you to feel like my main focus for you is to build your business because it's not but something that you will obviously see from me recently is i am going to try and push you know the people that do want to build a business i am trying to support them better by being a better build uh, business leader myself um but you know please don't ever you know forget that my core is just being in this for shakeology and for my own love of having the support of a family and you know i just kind of naturally built this team and kind of was forced to grow and forced to start leading and forced to start figuring this shit out because it was just happening in front of me you know and that's my goal for you guys too you know just be in this for yourself and change your life um and just you know do it on your own terms and figure this out yourself and don't get stressed out by what other trainings are telling you another like you know obviously we have the trainings we have the tools we have things to help you and guide you um but you're you're your own journey you know and if you want to just sit back and drink your shakeology and check into the groups and not ever sign coaches then please know that i still love you like i do okay but also please understand that yes if i have build business builders that are working the business and you know really giving it them all with me then i am obviously giving them a lot of my time too because they are the ones that are you know building this empire with me um so yeah basically that's it i don't want to talk any longer but i've just had a lot of conversations with a few of you guys um and i just want you guys to realize that you know it's something that i had to put in my own brain too that you can't get down on yourself because your goals are different than somebody else's or you know and uh, somebody might have a goal to be fucking shredded and get on stage and you know and some people want to never do that in their life and that's okay two different people two different goals you know so don't compare yourself to any other coach on this team or in the organization at all you know um just get up every day and you know work on your own personal development please and then figure out your own life and it will it will guide you where you need to go okay um that's my biggest goal for you guys so i know that's something that i still slack on is my personal development but i cannot tell you how awesome it makes me feel every single day when i do actually take time to do it um and how awesome it makes me feel when i wake up and work out first thing as you can tell i'm in a great mood today um yeah it's just it's a great day uh, i'm starting my day off with great personal development with our you know national wake up call uh, i got sweaty first thing this morning um i'm just really excited about this movement and i just know how i felt in the beginning and you know i've I've researched other companies. I've always, I've felt like, oh, Shakeology is expensive. And like, I, this is so much shit that I just, I wish I could like, I wish I filmed my brain back then, honestly, you know, cause I just want you guys to understand that you're not alone in the way you feel and it does take time. And I will also be hundred percent honest that I think, well, I know, you know, some of my confidence obviously comes from you guys now, you know, and that takes time and that's the truth, you know? I honestly want you guys to be 100% confident in what you're doing because you have me and your team, but I will promise you that you will grow more confident and more confident as you sign teammates underneath you because it holds you more accountable and it, it really does, you know, them looking to you for advice makes you feel like you have a purpose and it really is just an amazing opportunity, okay? But just realize that you can take it at whatever pace you want to take it, okay? And please reach out to me when you're struggling and realize that I probably know exactly how you're feeling, okay? I promise. Like you signed up with me for a reason. I'm always here for you. And I, uh, yes, I want to grow and I, w I am, you know, I do want to be successful in this business. Um, and I am going to push the people that want to be pushed, but I never want to be looked at as that coach that is only here to um, push people in the business. Okay. So like, if that's how you ever see me, then please message me and be like, Huey, you 
are not fun anymore. <laughs> okay, because that's I don't ever want people to look at me that way, and I don't. I mean, I it's never gonna happen because I will never be that way. Um, you know, my heart is in this forever. I love you guys so much. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. And you guys can kind of see this from the thingy. Aren't they so cute? Um, yeah, I actually need to get up right now and go ship those of you guys that bought them. Um, I'm gonna ship them out today. But it's actually dope because they're like super big, so it's perfect for like thick shakes. I have my Shakeology in here right now. And yeah, I talked to the lady and she said, because I was worried, obviously, I didn't want to go through like a shitty company, but I didn't want to spend hell of money. I, it, it was weird, obviously, my first time, you know, that's why I started with blender bottles. Um, I didn't make any money, um, but I also didn't lose money and I didn't really know exactly how to do it, but I was like, I'm not going to um, buy stuff that's going to break and then you guys are going to be like, oh, that's shitty, you know, so like if this ever breaks. Um, but they said it like it can't be your own. It's like you can't be like fucking with it and it breaks and you're like, oh, I want a new one. But I guess, you know, yeah, if you're like holding it and it kind of snaps off when you think it shouldn't have broke um, or it cracks anywhere, you can send it in and they'll send you a new lid. Okay. Um, but yeah. Okay. Bye, you guys.